I would like to ask you a question today. What would you like for dinner tonight? Meat, fish, or vegan food? People are always thinking about food at least three times a day. Thinking about food and eating makes people happy. Here's one more question. What do you want to eat in the future when you get older? People like to check restaurant reviews, search for popular recipes, and screenshot information about new food trends every day. But almost no one thinks about what kind of food you will have in the distant future, what we'll be eating as a senior citizen. People age the same way. Why is it that we don't think about the future food? My name is Hiromi Kimoto. I designed future food for the elderly with general public people based in Tokyo, Japan. As a major in the field of inclusive design and participatory design, I am a collective dreaming designer. I define the general public as expert citizen with aim to draw in alternative future that is unforeseen by expert-led practices. Today, I'd like to introduce my project, Food in Our Aging Society. Japan is becoming a super aging society that the world has never seen before. Increasing life expectancy and diminishing birth rates will lead to super aging society phenomenon. One day, I was so surprised when I went to the hospital because the waiting room was filled with elderly people. I noticed I was the only young person there. The experience shocked me with realization the society is changing big ways. Recently, my grandmother, who was an absolute foodie, found her ability to chew and swallow has declined. She is now unable to eat her favorite food, which really made me sad. The enjoyment of eating food has been taken away from her. There's no foodie dishes designed for the elderly. Look at this meal, which is sold to the elderly in Japan. This fish looks like an emoji. All ingredients are clashed and shaped into a chip mold. This is edible, but the size erases any appetite. In the field of medical or nursing care, more emphasis is put on nutrition and safety and able to extend it to the enjoyment of the meal. I think the need to intervene in this area with design. Eating is an act that everyone does every day. I think designing the future food for the elderly will become important for everyone. So I speculate about future food for the elderly of 2035 when one in three people of Japanese population will be considered elderly. In 2035, it is also expected that food technology, such as food printing or artificial meat, will be deployed into the market. When I started the project, I identified big potential in using participatory design methods. If the elderly's food today, led by experts, doctors, or nutritionists, are not sufficient or satisfactory, the methodology must be changed. So I decided to use participatory design method called corrective dreaming, which aims to speculate the future with people. At first, in order to figure out elderly's problems regarding food, I joined at a sheer residence at the elderly facility for three months. Here's one of the residents. This is Yae, 91 years old. She was a cooking teacher when she was young, but now she cannot manage to feed herself because she has dementia. So, she asks other residents to manage to 
manage the contents of her refrigerator. This is why the refrigerator in her room is empty. The other one, Yukiko, is afraid of using knives and heat generating appliances to cook meal. So every morning, she only eats things that can be eaten by hands, such as bananas and snacks. By living together with them, I was able to figure out that they are not only have problems with physical act of eating, but various phases, such as shopping and cooking. Based on discoveries found from my research, I held an ideation workshop called Collective Dreaming Workshop with people in the 50s. There will be elderly people in 2035. To hold a collective dreaming workshop, I designed a card game. It contains two types of cards. These yellow cards introduce elderly problems regarding food found from, from my research. These green cards introduce food technology that could be emerging in 2035. By combining these cards, we discuss the future and we imagine the future. The ideas from Collective Dreaming Workshop were very fascinating. First, this is a new kind of vegetable called fully ripe bezi. Many elderly people who lost the power of chewing cannot eat fibrous flesh vegetable. In many cases, vegetables are cooked for a long time to make them softer. This free life veggie is a vegetable that is already very soft texture at the time of harvest. Since it is very soft, even without cooking, it allowed elderly people to eat fibrous flesh vegetable. Second is family of gummy bear, printed by 3D food printer. By using 3D food printer, this texture and size can be adjusted. Each bear designed to help people rehabilitate different ways of eating. This round bear, for example, helps with continuous chewing. This bear looks like uh, noodles, helps with the act of thrupping. Yeah? And this long body bear helps practice biting of something, like dog. Yeah? Next is balloon meal, package in balloon. This was created for the elderly who has paralysis and dementia. By popping balloon with a stick, each bowl can be prepared and eaten without any cutlery or cooking. Since the elderly only have to eat bowls of a certain color in specific quantity every day, like medicine, it is so easy to manage daily meals. These ideas introduced so far are not necessarily correct answers, but toggles for imagining the future. Eating balloon meals every day might be an interesting suggestion for you. On the other hand, it could be criticism that they don't look like meals for humans. But through this workshop, we learned that the aging is not something to be sad about, but something that could be approached with more humorous and positivity. Today, the society is more complex. Fighting against birth social problem like super aging society by myself is impossible. So I choose not to fight alone. I think discussing and co-creating with general public people can make alternative future. And I believe that the designing opportunity to discuss and think collectively will lead to more humorous and exciting future. Thank you.